Hello, my name is Todd Robbins. I teach Spanish here in Manassas, Virginia. And one of the things I've done over the years has been to get kids really excited about course content material, like different cultural situations and grammar at the same time with the use of virtual reality. So I've done different things like use our Google Cardboard viewers, which are a really inexpensive way to have an immersive experience, um, but also to find these free videos on YouTube um, such as the running of the bulls in Pamplona, Spain, um, going through Park Güell in Barcelona, um, different uh, uh, flamenco dances, uh, the Feria de Abril in Sevilla. So many great videos that are out there in the Tomatina Festival, which is really cool, um, where kids can sort of feel like they're exploring and they can choose what they want to see, look at, zoom in on as the video is going on. So what I've done over the years has been to break kids up into small groups of three or four, assign them these different group numbers and a specific video for them to select. You can still get a lot out of this type of assignment um, with your students because uh, once they watch the video, on their laptop or even on the phone they're just you know moving around with their their cursor um, to see all around them then you can have them write about it and talk about it using whatever grammar tense that you want for example uh, let me show you the handout that i have that corresponds to this activity um, so it's all in spanish here and basically i just want them to uh, describe what they saw so we're using the, the preterite past tense um, and I've given them some questions to consider, like what did you see in your, in your video? Did you see a festival? What happened? What did the people do? Um, did they eat anything? Did they dance? Did they run like away from the bulls? So it's a great way to incorporate culture, technology, something new that they might not have done in other classes before, writing, and then speaking. And again, it's not something that takes a lot of time. You just have to find some videos, make some links, um, and then have kids share out, which is great um, because we want them speaking and we want them interacting with the culture. So I tell them it's like a, a viaje virtual, a virtual field trip um, to another country. Uh, in this case, to Spain, but you could do it on any country that you're interested in. So um, hopefully you might want to try something like this. Uh, there are so many videos that people have made out there. Um, that are all for free on YouTube. And um, I think it might be a really immersive experience for your students.